Pounded into paste, ground into flour, boiled or fried, yams provide sustenance and livelihoods across West Africa. But growing conditions across the yam belt, from Guinea to Cameroon, are deteriorating just as prices of other staples soar. Nigerian market vendor Adewale Elekun sells yams. He says life for farmers in Nigeria is getting harder. Before, the way they farmed was different, but the soil is bad now. The soil was good and the land was well graded in the past, so when farmers planted yam, the yam would germinate quickly. But today the quality of the soil has deteriorated, so pesticides that we used to kill all fungus now affect the yam planting. The need to boost locally grown crops has become more acute due to global food price rises. That's where scientists like molecular geneticist Ranjana Bhattacharji come in. She is working at Ibadan's International Institute of Tropical Agriculture to complete whole genome sequencing of around 1,000 yam samples. She hopes that this will ensure that future crops are more adaptable to a changing climate. We are going to try to, you know, uh, you know, take those genes and transfer and then the quality will improve, the consumer preferences will improve and also the yield of that crop will improve. So that will then ultimately lead to food security, not only in Nigeria, but also in West Africa where yam is being grown. Bhattacharji says sequencing the yam's genomes will not just improve their yield, but will help keep it high which will come as a relief for farmers across West Africa who grow some 90% of yams worldwide.